All right, so now we're on the hip and thigh. And for this video, I'm gonna do mainly the muscles, all right, because that's basically what the, the sheet is. So the first one are the adductors, adductors. We have five of them. For the written exam, you're gonna have to know all five. For the practical exam, we're gonna palpate them as a group, and we're gonna be very professional when we do it. So we're basically gonna to go to the shorts and down, and we're just gonna say these are our adductors right here. We're not gonna go anywhere near the pubic area at all, okay? So we're gonna call the, all the adductors as a group right here for the practical exam with the exception of gracilis, which we know has an insertion right here in the peasant serene. So I can ask you on the practical, palpate the insertion of gracilis, and you should know anterior medial tibia right here on peasant serene. That's like the only exception we're doing. Now in terms of the quadriceps, only one of them crosses the hip joint, that's rectus femoris coming from anterior superior. For the purposes of our class, for the practical, Vastus or uh, rectus femoris comes from anterior inferior iliac spine all the way down superior pole patella patella inferior pole tibial tuberosity so I want you inserting into tibial tuberosity all the way down vastus medialis anterior medial through the patella tibial tuberosity vastus lateralis on the lateral side through the patella tibial tuberosity and vastus intermedius right down the middle no, I'm not going out here to iliotibial tract for vastus lateralis, nor am I dropping into adductors. It's anterior medial, anterior lateral, okay? There is a distinction. Use the illustration in the trail guide to really visualize how those muscles are, are actually not all connected, all right? So those are our main anterior muscles, and I did in the last video, sartorius, okay? So we have four quadricep muscles plus the sartorius on the anterior side, um, and our five adductors as a group on the medial side. If we flip or prone, we can do the three hamstring muscles. Common origin on initial tuberosity, common action of straight leg raise, down in the flexion, all right? So, two medial, one lateral, issue tuberosity, biceps femoris comes down, goes lateral, and goes to the fibular head. Use the crease in the knee to make sure you're crossing the knee joint all three cross. So on the lateral side, we cross the knee and we go to fibular head. Semimembranosis crosses the knee joint and stays in the posterior tibia in that, tib in that popliteal fossa. Semitendinosis comes down and wraps around to the anterior medial tibial to the pes anserine. So we have gracilis, semitendinosis, and sartorius, all the pes anserine. Those are our three sergeant muscles. If we want to see the hamstring tends a little bit better, kind of put her in a little bit of flexion, so she's going to bring her heel to her butt. And you can see right there, that's the beautiful biceps femoris tendon, which sticks out. If we go a little bit more medial, you can see that's semimembranosis. There's semitendinosis. Kind of talked about in class, if that is biceps femoris tendon, and I go a little bit more lateral, that is iliotibial tract. Okay, you can kind of see me snapping my finger on it. So they are actually parallel and very close to each other. So that's biceps femoris, that is iliotibial tract, okay? So make sure you feel and differentiate the two of them. Iliotibial tract is gonna stay lateral and go to girdies. Biceps femoris is gonna to go to fibular head. So when you're palpating your hip and pelvis muscles, make sure that you are focusing on that. So we get the hamstrings, we did the adductors, we did the anterior musculature, Really, the only thing that's kind of left are hip flexors. So we're going to put her supine again. Sorry about that. My bad. Hip flexors are going to be kind of hard to palpate. It's the iliopsoas, which we know is made up of two muscles. Iliacus kind of comes from the inside of that ilium down a lesser trochanter. Can't palpate lesser trochanter. It's really deep. So as major comes all the way up from her lumbar spine. No way in hell I can palpate her lumbar spine without actually ripping through her intestines. She might not appreciate that. So the for purposes of our class, we're going to say the hip flexors are right here. Okay, we're just going to call the hip flexors like that, the, the iliac psoas as a group. So we really can't palpate them fantastically. But on the written exam, I can ask you to fill in the box, and you better know that the insertion is the lesser trochanter and what their origins are, etc. So there is a difference between what we can practically palpate and what I may ask you on the written exam. So that should be pelvis, 
hip and thigh kind of getting you through uh, the gentle palpations. Like I mentioned in the beginning, as long as you can palpate the bony landmarks and then you just learn the origin insertion, all the muscles do are connect them. And 90% of the time, with the exception of like sartorius, the muscles are going to go in a straight line. Right? Sometimes they have a curve, but honestly, they just basically go in a straight line. So that's why those muscle worksheets are going to be so important for you. So, have any questions, let me know.